Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about multiplying radical expressions. So this is really building off of just the basics of building or multiplying radicals. So the rule is, so if I have two radicals with the same index, then I can multiply whatever's under them together, like you see here. So I just wanna really quickly remind ourselves how that skill works. So let's say that I've got these two cube roots. So since they're both cube roots, I can just straight up multiply them together. So uh, four times six is 24. And then x squared times x squared will become x to the fourth and y times y will be y squared. Okay, so the thing is when you multiply radicals together, it's entirely possible that you're going to have to simplify them. So in this case, I would simplify this. So th there's different ways of simplifying this. I'm just going to show you um, what it is that I'm, I'm pulling out of the radical to simplify. Okay, so I can um, bring out the factors eight and x cubed. These I can actually take the cube root of. So this will just become two x times the cube root of three x y squared. Okay, so you should be solid on this before you go any farther with this. If not, I would strongly recommend that you just go back and, and practice kind of these skills because I'm really just adding on to this. So if you feel like you don't have this, um, maybe just go back and review a little bit. So um, let's just make sure you're good with this. So why don't you pause the video here, try this one on your own and hit play when you're ready. So this is gonna be 60 xy squared when I multiply it together. And so then, the largest perfect square that divides into 60 is four. So I can really break out four y squared. So I can take that square root and then 15 x will be left behind. So this becomes two y times the square root of 15 x. Okay, so like I said, so this lesson's really just adding on to that. So now what we're gonna look at are things like this. So where I'm like distributing a radical into other radicals. So what would I do then? Like, what does your intuition tell you that we should do with this? Well, it's, you know, it's like begging for you to distribute. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply this by both parts. But now I just have to exercise, right, this radical rule when I multiply things together. So in this case, this will be square root of 6 plus the square root of 20. And then upon further review, I can see that I can simplify the square root of 20. So this becomes the square root of six plus the square root of two times the square root of five because four is the largest square root that goes into 20. Okay, so why don't we have you do this one and hit play when you're ready. Okay, so this one actually has a little bit of a challenge into it because for this one, I have things outside the radical and inside the radical. So you have to keep the two worlds separate. So when I am multiplying two times the cube root of three times the cube root of nine, it's just the stuff under the cube roots that are gonna get, that are gonna get multiplied together. So this is gonna become two times the cube root of 27. And then same thing for the next part of this. So I'm gonna take two times five on the outside and then the cube root of 18 on the inside. And so then what can I actually simplify farther? Well, I can simplify the cube root of 27. So this will become two times three plus 10 times the cube root of 18. So this is six plus 10 times the cube root of 18. Okay, so let's have you try another one, whether you got that right or wrong, hopefully you learned something from it. Remember, it's never a problem to make mistakes in math. That's like, I feel like we really beat ourselves up when we don't, immediately get it. And honestly, like making mistakes is part of the, the process of learning math. So if you made a mistake, no big deal. Okay, so I want you to try this one and hit play when you're ready. Remember math is not a spectator sport. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply this first part together. So I've only got stuff under the radicals that can be multiplied together. So this is gonna become three X stays on the outside, it's chilling. And then I've got 50 X under the radical and then as I distribute to the next part of this, so now I've got the three X and the five X on the outside. So that's gonna be 15 X squared. And then under the radical will be five times two, so that becomes 10. So make sure you've got this part good. 
And then um, what can I actually simplify farther? Well, this square root of 50 part can be simplified farther. So I'm going to call this 3x times, so um, maybe just to break this out, so the square root of 50 is the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 25 is 5. This x can't be simplified farther, this 2 can't be simplified farther, so that just hangs out there. And then, um, now I multiply together what I can, so this becomes 15x square root of 2x minus 15x squared square root of 10. And so these are not like radicals or like terms, so I can't go any farther with this. Could you factor out 15? Sure, but we're not being asked to factor things out, so I'm not going to do more work than I need. I, I could factor out 15x, but but why? <laughs> okay, so let, let's keep going. So now um, let's just turn up the volume a little bit and now try to multiply this whole party together. And actually, um, you know what, I'm going to make a little more space for myself. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to just work on multiplying, well, everything in here by everything in here, which is a lot of times called foiling. Um, I always dislike the word foil because I feel like it, I don't know, because I'm weird. <laughs> um, but okay, if you want to think of it as foiling, there's there's literally nothing wrong with that. I just, I feel like everything in here times everything in here is just as simple. Um, so let's go through this together. So I'm going to have square root of 3 times square root of 6. So that's going to be the square root of 18. Then I'm going to have square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is square root of 9. Now you could also just write that as 3. That would be totally fine, um, but I'm not going to. Then I'm going to have the square, negative square root of 2 times um, the square root of 6, so that's minus the square root of 12. And then finally, square root of 2 times square root of 3, this will become minus the square root of 6. So I multiply everything together, and then I just see what else I can do. So this square root of 18, um, the largest square that goes into it is 3, so this becomes 3 times the square root of 2 plus 3 minus 2 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 6. So this is like really testing your ability to simplify these radicals. And so if you haven't mastered it yet, you're probably going to master it in this particular lesson. Okay, so we'll have more fun. Um, so why don't you try this one totally on your own and hit play when you're ready. And we'll just see how you're doing with this. Okay, so first I'm going to take this times each term in here. So this term times 10 will give me 3 times the square root of 50. This term times this one, so I have 3 times 4 which is 12. And then under the radicals I've got the 5 times the 2 which is 10. Next I'm going to take this term times each thing in here. So square root of 2 times 10 will give me the negative square root of 20. And then we'll have negative 4 times the square root of 4. Okay, so now I've got kind of everything laid out and then I can go from here. So this will simplify into three times this, uh, 5 times the square root of 2. This is just going to be 12 times the square root of 10. I can't go any farther with that. The square root of 20 will simplify to 2 times the square root of 5. And then this will become 4 times 2. So in the end, I've got 15 square root of 2 plus 12 square root of 10 minus 2 square root of 5 minus 8. And if you have these in a slightly different order, that's totally fine, but you need to have all the signs right, and these are the terms that you should have in the end. Okay, so let's keep going with this. I've got now one with um, just higher radicals. So same idea. Let's just make sure you're good on this. We've switched the index. Um, hit play when you're ready. Okay, it's taking this times everything in here. So I'm going to take the first terms. So this will be 15 times the cube root of 8. This term times this term will give me, so 3 stays on the outside. And then under the radicals, I've got 24. And then let's see. So next I'm going to take this term times this term. So the 5 is going to be on the outside. And then under the radical of 12, 6 times 2 is 12. And then this term times this term. So this will be minus the cube root of 36. Okay, so now we see what can we simplify here. So this will become 15 times 2. Um, this will be 3 
oops, sorry, this should have been a cute brood out here, my bad. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Um, okay, so this should be three. So this has the cube root of eight in it, so this will become three times two times the cube root of three. You can't simplify this radical further, and you can't simplify the cube root of 36 farther, right? It's not the square root of 36, it's the cube root of 36. Okay, um, so in the end, I'm going to have 30 plus 6 times the cube root of 3 minus 5 times the cube root of 12 minus 3 times the cube root of 36. Okay, um, the last thing that I want to talk about is multiplying in this scenario. Um, so this is actually, th this problem is multiplication. So this literally means take the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. Um, I actually want to talk about, though, if, if you looked at this and you thought, oh, I just square 2 and I square 3 to get this. So, no. <laughs> um, this is a really common mistake. And this, like, it's so, it's so crazy to me. This mistake is so common that it actually is named the freshman's dream. So there's a piece of trivia for you. So a lot of people are, are prone to this mistake, but remember what it means to square something is to multiply this thing by itself. We've never had a rule. If I have a plus B squared, this never equals a squared plus B squared. That's not a thing. So um, you're going to have to do this as your first step and then you just multiply. And so there's really nothing fancy about it. One other thing I want to mention with this, I've noticed sometimes there are books that bring up things like formulas to remember with this. Nah, we don't need that. Um, just go ahead and multiply it. You don't have to remember extra formulas. I'm, I'm very against having to me memorize extra stuff. So just multiply it like you always would, no problem. Um, so why don't you go ahead and multiply and hit play when you're ready. So let's see, this is going to give me the square root of 4 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 9. So this is going to turn into 2 plus 2 times the square root of 6 plus 3. And so this becomes 5 plus 2 times the square root of 6. Okay, cool. So let's just try one more of these. Um, so you can work this one out from start to finish and hit play when you're ready. So I know I'm going to take the cube root of 9 plus the cube root of 6, and then I'm going to multiply cube root of 9 plus the cube root of 6. Okay, so let's do this. So this becomes the cube root of 81 plus the cube root of 54 plus the cube root of 54 plus the cube root of 6. Now this one you've got to kind of, oops, 6, 36, my bad. Uh, now this one you've got to kind of think through a little bit as you're doing this. So for the cube root of 81, so 27 goes into 81 um, three times. So this will become 3 times the cube root of 3. So I'm going to do this, this uh, I've got 2 times the cube root of 54. This can actually be simplified further. So I'll do that in the next step. And then the cube root of 36 cannot be simplified further. Okay, so the cube root of 54, 27 also goes into this one. So this will become 3 times the cube root of 3 plus 2 times 3 times the cube root of 2. And then the cube root of 36. Okay, and uh, I'm running out of space here, but this will be 3 times the cube root of 3 plus 6 times the cube root of 2 plus the cube root of 36. Okay. So um, I will drop um, some extra examples and instruction on this if you feel like this went a little fast for you. Um, so check out those other resources, make your education work for you and cater to your needs. Um, and otherwise, if you thought this was helpful, please consider hitting that like button or the subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.